Hey guys, it's Ayman again and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to show you how to use the Gaming Freak 101 keyboard to set up the macro keys with OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Now, OBS is a program where you can record gameplay, record things on your screen, and generally as a software to stream games uh, onto websites and whatnot. So we're going to be looking at some of the functions that the Gaming Freak 101 keyboard has and how we can tie that into a streamer or a broadcaster or a Let's Player situation. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I have my screen here recorded using Bandicam and I got the Gaming Freak 101 right here on my side cam. So first and foremost, we're going to open up the software and as you can see, we have the diagram of the Gaming Freak 101 keyboard. Keep in mind that every single key on the Gaming Freak 101 keyboard is programmable but for today's purposes, we're going to route F1 as start and stop recording, F2 as start and stop streaming, F3 as change the scene 1 and F4 as change the scene 2. All right, firstly, we'll click on F1. You're greeted with this section of the menu. For today's demonstration, we're not gonna be using a single key, but if there are uh, macros that you'd like to set in one key mode, you can use it in this screen. But we're gonna be going to macro setting. Okay, so in macro setting, this is where you can record multiple keystrokes, key combinations, and assign it to a single button on the Gaming Freak 101 keyboard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press plus, and you have here, it creates a new preset, so we're gonna name it as start stop and then we're going to press record now in the record function it'll record your keystroke so we're going to bind f1 to control one okay and we're going to stop recording now as you can see on this table here we have all the keystrokes that we recorded just now on the keyboard but if you notice there are duplicates of the same keys but these are regarded as downstrokes and upstrokes with the down arrows being downstrokes and the up arrows being upstrokes but for our purposes today we're going to be using the downstrokes only so we will remove the upstrokes by pressing delete and there we go so this is basically it on the recording side we're going to hit ok that's it. Basically, you've already assigned for F1. I'm going to go ahead and assign the rest of the keys, which is using the same method as the one I did before. So here we go. Okay, now we're done on the mapping part of the software, now we need to bind all the key functions inside OBS. So we're going to hit apply in the software and I already have OBS running here as you can see. So what you want to do is you want to go to file, go to settings and then go to hotkeys. So in this portion of the OBS menu setting, you can actually bind any of the keys that you have on your keyboard or the ones that you set before to specific functions in OBS. But since we already mapped it on the Gaming Freak 101 keyboard, we are going to use the same settings we did as we had in the software before. So what you want to do is you want to click on the table here on the little title field here and you want to hit F1. As you can see, it registers as control one because we mapped it earlier in the software. So we're going to continue that for stop recording as well. Up here for start streaming, that's F2. It registers as control 2. Stop streaming, same thing as well. And we're going to head to scene 1, switch to scene, that's F3, which registers as control 3. Scene 2, F4, which registers as control 4. Now we're going to hit apply and press OK. So let's test these functions out. So for F1, we'll have recording. And there you go, it's recording. We're going to stop recording. That works. And now we're going to hit F2 for start streaming. There you go. It works. Now keep in mind that I'm not actually streaming, so OBS will come up with an error. Since we're already on scene 1, we're going to go to scene 2, which is F4. That works like a charm. And go back to scene 1. That works like a charm as well. In summary, binding the Gaming Freak 101 keyboard to OBS is actually not hard, especially with the user-friendly software that comes with it. It's not really an issue to bind it with any other software, to be honest. So if you're a caster, if you're a Let's Player, or even if you're a streamer, the Gaming Freak 101 keyboard can really help you in those situations where you need to make changes fast on the go without interrupting your main keyboard. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on this post. If you're on the Facebook, please like us at Gaming Freak Malaysia follow us on gaming freak malaysia on instagram if you're on youtube please like the video and share it out with your friends and get subscribed this has been ayman zamir for gaming freak see you in the next one